Hey guys, welcome back to the Velocity Garage. This lovely morning, it's very cold, but we're going to do some uh, runs with the Tacoma to show you guys what this thing sounds like. Now that my fender flares are looking a little bit better, I'm going to start addressing the exhaust sound on this thing. Um, before, I had some exhaust leaks, I put a cherry bomb muffler in there. It sounds fine, but the exhaust is starting to fall apart again, so it's time to build a full exhaust for this Tacoma, make it sound better, and make it more fun. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let's get this thing started. I'm going to show you what this sounds like and let's get back to the shop because it's cold. So that's what it sounds like taking off and going by. Uh, let's go for a drive and I'll show you what it sounds like inside and that'll be on the way back to the shop and uh, let's get this thing going. All right guys, here we go inside the truck. See, uh, show you what it sounds like. <sighs> Can't see now. All right. So after the stock man, after the manifold, it comes down. Got a catalytic converter, a secondary one right here, and then my um, cherry bomb muffler, and then goes out to the factory location with a tip. So. Um, this is the old system, we're going to remove it and uh, put a new exhaust in. If you come over here, you can see where it's been leaking. Some holes and it's where it's been sputtering from and there's another spot back there. So all this stuff needs to be replaced, it's leaking, it's rusted out. So uh, I'm going to start removing the oxygen sensors, remove the whole exhaust system and then start placing in all the parts we have. All right, so I wasn't going to film taking off the exhaust, but I had to show you guys this. Um, first thing you want to do is take the oxygen sensor out, um, both the primary and the secondary, upstream, downstream, whatever you want to call it. So I had the wrench on here, and I was getting ready to loosen it up. And as I was loosening it, I saw this was moving a lot. So I'm pretty sure this was my exhaust leak. I don't know. Let me guys know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. I am really surprised I didn't fall off on the road. But I'm also surprised it sound as bad as it should have. But there you go. I'll be back when this thing's off, but I want to show you that. So much fun. Woo. All right. Here's the header we're using. It's an LCE engineering long tube header uh, with a EGR port and a oxygen sensor port on here. 
So this is uh, the, what we're going to use for the, for the motor. That's the new header. Um, this back part back here is Borlock uh, catback exhaust with a four inch tip. Um, it's a straight through muffler design. It has provisions for an oxygen sensor. And then I also have a oxygen sensor fuller. Um, I may not put a pad on this uh, right now. I'm thinking of just using a test pipe, but I gotta figure that out later. So let's get the exhaust removed and get this stuff on and figure out what else I need to get, get this thing done. All right, there's your old exhaust. Got it pulled out all the way. Um, kind of compare it to the new Borla exhaust, there's definitely going to be somewhat of a gap. I don't know how much at this point, but we're going to find that out here in a little bit. So it's time to move on to this. We'll remove the air box, the uh, piping, um, some wire harnesses, everything I need to move to get to the manifold underneath there. So let's get that done. All right, the header's in. This is how it sits in a stock truck. Got all the nuts on there, EGR pipes on there. Um, so it's all sitting in there. Looks like there's enough clearance. Looks good. So let's get the Borla exhaust on there to see um, how much piping we need to order to make the two pieces meet. All right, I got the Borla exhaust installed. Got the nice tip here. Uh, everything appears to clear. Uh, Mufflers hung right here using the original mounting points. Um, same thing for the exhaust tip. Um, up this way, uh, the extent of the kit pretty much ends right here. Um, there's my manifold or my long tube header. Um, what I gotta do is now make a piece that goes between here and here to mount everything up. At that point, I'll then uh, Tighten all the clamps, holding the exhaust together, make a hanger that attaches here to support this part of the pipe. Um, but I need to order a resonator still or piping, I'm not sure which one. Um, but it looks like it's 16, maybe 17, depending on how this sits, uh, inches long. So uh, I'll get that ordered uh, as soon as that uh, comes in. We'll get together and uh, show you guys what it sounds like. So, I think that's about all I can do for today because I don't have any piping, resonators, or anything like that at this at this size. So, well, see you guys next time.